I should remove all of these tombstones before we start. Yeah, though I don't think we're getting hammered by too many ghosts. No, I don't think the other enemies didn't seem to be spawning during that. No, they were though. There were there were other enemies. Here, why don't we actually just turn off the spawn rate? I guess that's true. Bonk. Easy mode. <laughs> easy life. I mean I could I could turn on true easy mode. Nah. Okay, it looks or like I get four ballista. Set bonus increases your max number of sentries. Are you just playing around with them? Um Well No I like I'm I'm straight up uh I've just gotten ballista build. Uh, what armor are you wearing? Or are you wearing the? Uh, yeah, I, I wear so, the red riding hood. Uh, the, the I red see. Riding you just dress. got that on for cosmetic. Why not put yeah. uh, Two in each your size. all? Yeah, put all all four of your ballistas on one side. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, are we using the same staff? Ballista yeah. staff. Okay. Uh, if you're using red riding, you're actually uh, you get the bonus for the explosive traps. Oh, interesting. Right. I just, in my mind, ranged was uh, ballista, but that that is a thing, isn't it? Yep. Um. Let me go. Well, it, does it say that? Oh yeah, greatly enhances explosive trap effectiveness. Lol. All right. Get out of here, ballista staff. I wonder why haven't you made the Terra Spark boots? Because I actually forgot they existed, and I thought they were, uh... I, I thought those were a modded thing. Also, <laughs> I think they just provide the effect of Lava Waders? Oh, you have no limit if you have the Eternia mana, mana as well. Ah, so once it starts, they're going to take away our current Ballista, and we'll be able to make more of them? Possibly, probably. Okay. Works for me. Um, oh, yeah, there they go. Cool. Yeah, I just don't have enough yet, do I? That's fine. I have a grenade launcher. Yeah, that would explain why we were getting overwhelmed so easily, though. <laughs> I mean, we jokingly said we were going to try and ignore it, and I think that was the wrong choice. And I think now that we've gotten to this point... We're going to try it the right way. Apparently, they must be strong, though, right? Yeah, they do 200 damage. Where does it say how much mana I have? Is that just my inventory? I can see 20 of them. Yeah, it'll also have, like, a, a little number next to your, uh, to your staff. Oh, I see. Should I put explosive traps on, on your side? Uh, yeah. I guess I'll start putting, um... I'll start putting some on your side as well. Do the ballista handle the air for you? Uh, they do a decent jo job at it. You have goblin sappers. Or Cobalt yeah, Snappers. I think, I think that's what killed me last time, actually. I mean, just like in the original D Dungeon Defenders. The yeah, they are probably players. the most deadly thing just because... What the hell are you? The color Gato is following me. What? <laughs> What's that even mean? I'm actually really confused by that, yeah. I have Gato eggs. It must be a, a thing that is dropping. All right, should I put an explosive on your side? Yeah. Do they have like a limited number of charges or do they just do... It's, I don't know, they haven't gotten to them yet. Fair enough. I'll put one up here. Presumably they should just explode. Cause that's like, they would have a number of charges for them in the original and I don't see charges here. There's no way to repair, so it feels like it'd be a little lame if you couldn't repair. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. 
Honestly, these ballistas are kind of just soloing things on my end. Oh, great. There's certain got... enemies that they they do not, but I've got four, and they're enough to take out all of the basic mobs. Ah. Uh, are these, these, like, dragon dudes, right? Yeah, the dragon dudes are a little tougher. I don't... 7,800. Yeah, that would that would take... Eh, 10 salvos from my ballistas could maybe do it. <laughs> and in this, they've managed to make a game like Dungeon Defenders, except you can both specialize in towers and the other stuff. I actually... I would love to play a uh, side-scrolly Dungeon Defenders like like this. There was you one called that. Aegis Defenders that kind of got there, but it didn't really have, like, uh, there wasn't much of a progression system, but it was a good game. Why do you keep emphasizing side-scroller? Is it important to you because we're playing Terraria, or is it something, like, independent of that? I, I think it would just put more of a focus on... Hmm. I don't know. I, I think it's just because there aren't anything... Hmm. I'm thinking I about what, it. I What I, I wanted think from, from Dungeon Defenders was something that felt a little bit more tactical. Yeah. I think maybe that's why side well, would side scrolling really I feel like side scroller would be that. reduced to the like tactical decision making about what things appeared. True. As. I guess I've just played a lot of Kingdom uh over the past you know, couple of years. And it's one of those that like I adore the game but I want more depth from it. And I feel like a side-scroller tower defense-y thing would probably be... Mm. So really, this is about wanting something that is kingdom, but with expansions on what it's about. Yeah, kind of. The nice thing about the grenade launcher is it knocks them back into each other and causes them to clump even more. An ogre on my end. I think I'm gonna get through him. He looks about dead. Yeah, he's dead. Tough sucker, though. Did we confirm that the chain gun is the best thing you can get for fighting the Moon Lord? Uh, as far as guns of its classification, yeah. Okay. Are things on your end good? I'm just laying out bunches of explosives. It seems pretty manageable for the moment. I just have kind of like a layered minefield. I think I'm probably going to experiment to see whether or not they disappear. They just seem to kind of blow up and do stuff. I don't know. It seems pretty strong. I suppose lots of ballistic can all fire in unison at something, though, so maybe that's a little better. Yeah, because I, I like the three-dimensional aspect of it in Dungeon Defenders, but I think so much of it just ended up being like, I put towers at the choke points. And there was some careful positioning, but there wasn't a lot of points where you had to, like, make that many decisions in it. Sometimes, it, it, I guess it was more of a resource management decision usually when you had to do it. Hmm. We should probably give Orcs Must Die a go at some point, because I think you might like that better. Because okay. Dungeon Defenders was very much like a, <laughs> just like grind for massive amounts of resources kind of situation. Whereas um, Orcs Must Die your traps did a lot of damage, but they wouldn't solo stuff in the same way. Hmm. Is it is it the same genre of game? Whoa. Oh, is Betty there? Yeah, Betty has arrived. Is Betty... Does Betty fit the crystal? I don't... Should we fight her away from it? I think like... so. There is a dude, though, on our crystal. So we, we have to be a little wary. Okay. Uh, did we no, have I... to have a stone nope. bottom? Nope. Betty, Betty does do damage. Okay. Well, we should fight her away from it then, I guess. Yep.
Well, all the explosive traps are just kind of handling it. Are your ballista doing all right over there? I think they are. I mean, they'll definitely shoot her when she goes by. My one problem is she's a little fast for my Terra Blade to hit. <laughs> it seems like I've got the right thing done. Oh, but I just ran into all the other enemies. You hold tight there. <laughs> Be safe. Okay. You're dead. It turns out that all of my explosive traps were just doing everything for us over here. <laughs> they, uh, yeah. I feel like your explosive traps might be worth uh, putting, like, right in front of the portal. Oh, yeah, I should have done that. Let's see. Did we get Betty's treasure bag? Yep. We could try Where and pop it open, or we can hope for the best. Um, did I get Betty's treasure bag? Where did it drop? To the right here? Yeah. Oh, if you were dead, maybe that was a problem? Uh, it, I did participate in killing her, but I was dead for a period of time, and maybe that, maybe that cuts me out. That's okay. I mean, like, realistically, it, it's mostly a matter of what do we need from Betty's treasure bag, and if you can just get all the of answer it and do is it. we need a couple of things from her. Mm. So some of them are not guaranteed. I, we, I think we need to do that one more time. Okay, let's do it up. I think it should right, be easier now that I know. I should just put explosive traps in front of the portals. <laughs> yep. Uh, by the way, I got an accessory from that. The uh, the monks. Waste something or other. Uh, you might want it. Oh, uh, let's okay. See. What's it do? It lets you have more sentries and makes them do more damage. Oh, neat. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, let's see. Um, current accessories are pretty good, though. <laughs> I, I'm just thinking from this perspective, I've taken off my uh, my Ankh shield because I don't really need it that much. Uh, I don't have the Ankh shield on even. Eh, no biggie. What about the worm scarf? I feel like that's pretty good, right? Uh, it is good. It's a 20% damage reduction. I haven't felt like I needed it yet. Okay. I mean, I only died once last time. No, nah, I'm going to keep this Worm Scarf on. I think my minion damage was good, but I think I ultimately didn't need it. I think my what I saw was the explosives killed everything on the ground. It was just not necessary. Whereas me not dying is probably important this time around. It's wave complete, but I definitely haven't finished this wave over here. <laughs> I guess the Terra Bailey is pretty strong. All right. You wouldn't mind getting some Ballista on this side still, would you? Sure. I'm out of mana, but yeah. Yeah, for the moment, not important. I mean, I'll, I'll put some explosives on your side, I think, too. Probably they do synergize with each other. I kind of wish I had tried the lightning aura. Ooh, because that might be pretty good. Maybe. I feel like the ballista should handle the air units, right? Or do they not? Uh, it's decent at it. They can still get by. Okay. This is something to keep an eye out for. You can do that. Whoa. Dang it. The cobalt oh. bombers can just get straight by, though. Oh, okay. Should I put some explosives on your side? Yes, please. I'll put them right in front of the portal. Sound good? There's two for now. 
That should be enough. Yep. That's what I was thinking. But yeah, I mean, so going back to kind of the topic on, um, on like narrative elements of games when like when it's important for it to be a game versus like a walking simulator or a visual novel. Um, I mean, like, I guess part of it is like gameplay mechanics when they're fun. Like, I feel like Terraria. Part of it is the research management game, but part of it's also just like trying to control your character through this boss fight and dodge the attacks and hit the enemies and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not personally going too far out of my way to play this game specifically for the uh, the narrative aspect of it, but the, the <laughs> actual gameplay carries it forward more than well enough. Yeah. Um, so I guess kind of in, in the flip side of that then, like when... When for the story-driven games is not the gameplay aspects, but the actual, like, the decisions that you make important? Like, when does it become... I'm mixed. There's a lot of games uh, where the decisions are... Did you ever play much Mass Effect or anything like that? No. The decisions of that game always felt like a token gesture mm. instead of something that like really made me feel like I was making too much of a difference. It was really just like, do you want to be a jerk to everybody or do you want to be a nice guy? And then it's, everything else was kind of de-incentivized de and it didn't feel very good. It's like Fable, right? In that sense? Yeah. Yeah, Fable really just wanted like, you to be kind of binary on it. It didn't really reward you for being neutral. Yeah. Uh, the game that I know that did a decent job at being, uh, having morality, uh, your alignment in it, was uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker actually had it that if you were lawful good, you would actually start doing uh, some fairly evil things, uh, sort of. So, like, zero tolerance of, um, uh, zero tolerance of, like, law uh, lawbreakers and disorder and, like, straight up executing criminals. Uh, way more aggressively than I think anybody was expecting. I think same deal with, like, True Neutral. Um, and I thought that was kind of an interesting detail yeah, that I was not I mean, expecting. If, if you're truly lawful good, you have to place the law also with what you feel is good. Like, sometimes you're like, this doesn't feel good about this particular way that the law behaves, but it's how it has to be for society to have order. Yeah. And so I was playing a chaotic neutral character that was way nicer than half of my lawful good party members. And that one <laughs> kind of surprised me. Now that's a kind of an odd one, because a chaotic neutral character, I feel like sometimes we have a really like, you know, there's kind of an interesting thing where I've heard people describe kind of like, oh, like I'm chaotic neutral and here's what I'm like. It's like, yeah, but chaotic neutral should be as often good as evil. Yeah, and right. that's what I was doing. That like my character is very much like an ends justify the means, uh, when necessary. You know, don't just goody two shoes my way through things. Usually go fairly good, but every once in a while do something pretty bad in the name of like, you know, his. It wasn't necessarily his morals or anything like that, but just uh, in order to get uh, stuff done, he would he would do something bad. I want to so go back you, to that one. you chose the alignment and you'd kind of see what the character's decisions were? You didn't get Yeah, to like... and it would even have, like, uh, different little... Like, it had markers for which were, like, aligned and, like, how it would affect your character's alignment and some other things. Uh, okay. Which is a little weird, but, like, it, I don't know. I, I liked it because I always felt like I was kind of in control of the decisions I was making. I'm just going to put a few more explosives on your side. All right, here she is. Oh. I'm be a lot more careful this time. Yeah, I'm just gonna be up here. Yeah, are we? Holy crap! The, she the can't thing that hurt killed me, me last time was I just like went into the wrong area. <laughs> I I'm feel hitting her, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Now you are. Warmer. Colder. Warmer. Uh, do, I can't do enough. <laughs> I'm truly a coward. <laughs> I 
I mean, our, our attorney at Crystal has, like, a stupid amount of HP. Like, she doesn't actually hurt it that much. Oh, okay, that's good. I suppose it's just, like, when the enemies just kind of mod it, right? Yeah. Honestly, getting her within range of my ballistas oh, seems ballista. like it was a really good idea. Let's just fight her over here. Well, I'm gonna save our turn here, Crystal. Yeah, you do that. I'm handling that. Oh, why is she here? Oh, interesting. The platforms block her uh, fireballs. Okay, I'm gonna drop the treasure bag for you. Oh. Okay. Great. All these defender medals I don't need. <laughs> oh, hey. We got some goblin banners. Cool. That actually would be kind of helpful. I guess maybe, we could maybe. have used those. <laughs> could have put up the banners for the things we were fighting. That's a trophy. Oh, I don't see any. That's interesting. But Curious do we... Tome of Infinite Wisdom. That's a staff. Okay, consumables. I'm assuming this is the Betsy one. Yeah, that's 100% <laughs> Betsy. Neat. So are, are many of these... Betsy's rat. Are these things we needed for something, or are they just because they're cool? Uh, some are cool. The Betsy's wings are real good. Oh, okay. Got him on Duke uh, now. Let's see. I An mean, aerial bane... Dragon. Aerial bane does a whole bunch of damage to flying units, and it does, like, a, um, uh, a burst fire. So, like, it'll hit a bunch of things below it. Okay. Is it better than say using other things honestly not sure uh yeah i just remember it was very very high on the list in terms of like quality yeah oh <laughs> sky dragon's fury right click while holding for an alternate attack that sounds interesting Wild safe men's. Oh, I see. Another dev thing. Oh, interesting. I want to right click while holding for an attack, but there were uh, <laughs> there were too many like fires that were nearby, and my like reach for that was so long. Well, these are neat, but are they better <laughs> than the chain gun? I, you know, I don't actually know. I thought there was a mount that you could get. What's what's the hotkey to auto just dump something into the garbage? Control. Control. Ah, very good. Yeah, I guess that was not as worth it as I was expecting. Oh well. You want to go fight uh, Fish Run? Yeah, sounds good. We got the stuff. Yep. Let's see, I'm just gonna... Uh, which ocean? Let's actually go to the, uh, the far right ocean so we don't lose all of our <laughs> NPCs and have to, like, reshuffle them forever. Alright. Sounds good to me. Ooh, we can make, like traps and stuff to fight Duke Fishron with, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna have a bunch of ballistas, probably. <laughs> hmm, but are ballistas better than these explosive traps? Uh, for Fishron, yeah. Fishron flies. Yeah. I guess I have a ballista staff. I might as well just use Shroomite armor with the ballista, right? Or no, yeah, maybe go for not. It. Hmm. Let's increase it. 
Or I could just use the Terra Blade. Oh, but Duke Fishron, we probably want to fight. Yeah, I'll just wear the Red Riding Hood gear. Alright. The closest one we have is the jungle, right? Oh, what am I saying? You're already there. Yep. Alright. Uh, I should make a bed in somewhere. Yeah, there's like a little hut right there that I never finished. Oh. Do you mean the stone thing or something yeah. else? Yeah. I made that. that oh, was you me. did? Okay. Don't you take no credit for that. <laughs> for your... <laughs> For my, you my circle of stones. Uh-huh. Yeah. It took a lot of time. It was delicately placed. I had to, like, try different ratios to kind of get the right aesthetics to it. Uh-huh. You know what it's going to be made out of, right? More stone or gold? Uh... <laughs> you know, here, I got a, I got a better alternative. What is a good block, actually? I, I got like the Martian kind of blocks. Oh, the Martian blocks. Let's see, is this full slightly, uh, full lightly or not modded? It is currently not modded because there are no mods. At okay. least, not that I'm aware of. Oh, really? There's just no mods for 1.4 yet? Yep. Because uh, you have to update the... Um, We just need a bed, to... right? I think so. And heck, we don't even really need a bed here, seeing as we have infinite wormhole potions. Well, we have to both... I suppose if we... I'll still be mad annoying. Yeah, maybe maybe mods have actually come out at this point. Uh, okay, yeah, D-Mod loader hasn't been updated yet. Yeah. Uh, you want a quick move, by the way? I'm doing important things. I know, but I can't I can't finish <laughs> the house. Can't finish the house. Is that it? Gold. Gold. We still need the bed, though. Gold. No, no, get that, get that garbage out of here. No, your, it's your very gold important. wall is offensive. Crowno will only be placed on gold. <laughs> Excuse me, Crowno will be perfectly fine with high tech, crazy stuff. Look at this; it looks great. Um. I guess, unfortunately, we didn't leave enough space for the bed with that table bed. Yeah, that's what I was kind of talking about <laughs> here. <laughs> More space for Chrono. Can we put the candelabra on the bed? Oh, nope. Ben's space it there. There we go. It needs a door, though. Well, there was one, but I just broke it. Oh, to make it bigger. Yeah, so there's enough room for your egregious gold table. Uh, Which I apparently have one too. <laughs> All right. You got him from the pirates. So completely unrelated. Uh, I assume you picked up the uh, the bundle for racial justice and equality, seeing as you were talking about it. Yeah, I mean, like, I saw that you'd covered it. I heard it, actually, because uh, one of my friends put something on it. So one of those oh, one of those cool. tabletop games is his, even. Uh, do you know which one? Uh, it's called the Glass Dream Game. Ah, okay. I was like, do you know the, the guy that made Lancer? Because I was going to be real excited if that was the case. No, that'd be rad. Actually, this same friend told me that Lancer was in the bundle. So we'll probably play it at some point. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and put together a couple of one-shots specifically for Lancer because it looks super good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, let's see. I need to go fishing. Because <laughs> that's how we find them. Yeah. You've got the truffle things. Do you want to give me some of those? Truffle worms. Stupid amounts. I Why did you just peace out? Fly. I was curious how, how good the fly speed height was on Betty's wings. Uh, 
We're just gonna fight him on a flat area, right? Just because we have yeah. an anti-grab. Speaking of. Okay, I can hold five. That's pretty good. Got him. Oh. He's a lot smaller than I remember him being. <laughs> I thought he was some giant crazy I think creature. it's because there's a modded boss that is so much larger that I totally forgot about it, uh, that they're different things. <laughs> oh gosh. Sharknados. Yep. I really want to use the Terra Blade against this guy, but the... Uh, it probably does more damage. Ooh. Didn't really bother with the uh, blisters yourself. Oh. Well, let's just throw some of those down. Pretend they were there the whole time. There he goes. I definitely helped earlier, so it's okay. What is okay. that? Uh, it is the demonic sky dragon's fury, or I guess really the sky dragon's fury. Okay. Well, I actually am curious about the other things here. Uh, do we wanna heal up? Do that again? Yeah. Did I get a Did I get a bag from that guy? Did I not? No, I did. Okay. Yeah, I guess one more. Is there is there stuff we're guaranteed to get from the bag? Uh, don't know. You should probably heal up to full, though. Oh, yeah. Gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Should we, like, make some stuff? Oh, that's weird. My sentries just disappeared. Oh. Uh, what do you mean, make some stuff? Oh, I was thinking we could... We could have the things for uh, actually fighting a boss, right? Oh. That was easy enough, though, wasn't it? Yeah, that was easy enough, though. <laughs> hey, well, thank I... you, Kakucho, for the raid, and welcome. How are you doing you tonight? Start... Oh, failed that one. Oh, oh, those. Oh, and the Bast statues would probably be smart, too. Oh. I mean, we'll make it work. definitely, we have... like, less important than it used to be. Yeah, it used to be amazing, but still. Let's see. I assume you guys finally beat Minecraft Dungeons. Uh, I'm going to be mildly distracted here, seeing as Kakuto is actually one of my friends. Yeah, yeah. Out here. Who I have not seen since... Gosh, I want to say... January? <laughs> it is I so mean... weird to think that, like... Yeah, I haven't seen another human being... Uh, other than up Shell. close, hmm. other than Shell since uh, February. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, we did. We did try. We did have to go out grocery shopping like once because we needed to pick up sponges, and we didn't want to wait. Yeah, my my state was thinking about kind of reopening, but we've had a spike for obvious reasons, so it's just like uh. Yeah, let's uh let's defer that for a little while. You wanna give me your treasure bag? Yeah. On the ground. <laughs> Thank you. That was a and good I... noise. You like eat it. Okay. Why are these treasure bags not labeled based on the boss? Uh let's see. What gun is that? That's the bow we got off Betty. Oh, I haven't used, haven't used it yet. I know Fishron's wings are pretty good. Isn't the mount able to fly infinitely? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it flies infinitely, but I know the mount is real good. Hell of a lot better than the turtle I've been riding this entire time. <laughs> I offer the unicorn. Yeah, but the unicorn doesn't fly. It does not. Godly Tsunami. Well, that's not the one I'm going to duplicate. I guess it wasn't unreal, though.
But is it good? That should be five arrows at a time. That feels pretty good. That feels kind of strong. It'd help if I actually had arrows on hand. Travels quick in water. Mm, that's cool. All right, how do I assess? Ooh, okay, so it's just a spread. I wonder if there's like homing arrows that'll actually do stuff. Uh, let's see. But yeah, if you guys see, seeing as I should actually probably shout out people uh, that I know when they raid, but if you guys haven't uh, checked out Akucho, he streams usually a lot earlier than this. Must have been uh, playing a double amount of Minecraft dungeons. Summon Sharknados. Oh, right. It's a summon staff. Not entirely sure if I'm going for a summoner build, though. I mean, we gotta have Sharknados, right? Hey, do you want to, like, equip different sets of wings and see which one flies higher? Uh, sure. Here, I'll go with the Betty. You want to try the other one? All right. Got it. On the count of okay. three. One, two, three. That's oh, Fishron, like I'm assuming. Fishron is the winner. Uh, let's see. Fishron's wings are not consumable. Okay, there we go. I don't think I need the bubble gun, shrimping truffle. Okay. I think this guy does just fly perpetually. Yeah, I suspect the UFO is probably like a little. Oh boy. What? Take this sucker underwater. Because it's a lot faster underwater. I. You want to okay, fight the Moon Lord underwater? Moon Lord underwater. That seems like a good idea other than the lighting situation. Oh, right? and our projectiles are real slow. Oh. And you can light it. That's not the problem. But he's probably still home, right? Actually, uh, here's the other trick. If if we uh, just put water below, uh, the, the fish run mount goes real fast. Oh, like uh, oh, right above water? Well, when it, like... For, I want to say, like, five to ten seconds after leaving water, it's still pretty dang fast. <laughs> oh, so we just fight the Moon Lord here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm pretty fine with that, too. All right, I got to... Uh, why am I on fire? <laughs> oh. These are the questions. Because there's a bit of hellstone just stuck in our house. Oh. Did I do that? I think so. I don't habitually keep Hellstone on me. Oh, apparently... Oh, speed boost also works when it's raining. Well oh, then. Oh, so we just need to make it rain. Time for it to perpetually rain. <laughs> you know, I was thinking like, oh, what do we need to do to summon rain? The answer is, of course, we just need to be in journey mode. <laughs> but does the Moon Lord create his own weather? I don't think so. Light drizzle. Perfect. All right, we're great. We've got we've got perpetual flight. I I am I'm looking forward to this. Uh, let's see. So I think we still want to go for the Empress of Light and the uh, the Mother Slime, or yeah, the Queen let's Slime. Yeah, do it up. Where's okay. our biggest uh, hollowed biome? Uh, biggest hollowed biome would actually be the desert to the right. Desert. Oh, the Empress's expert oh, mode that's... drop is endless wing flight. Damn! That's some good stuff. Alright. Let's do Let's it see. up. Oh, good luck, Kakujo. Gotta save your partner from the busted transit system. Ooh. Yeah, I can imagine everything is just worse right now. <laughs> okay. I gotta go pee real quick. Uh, but I will just kind of plunk myself down god mode above the desert. I don't actually okay. know if we need too much. Oh, right, I have mob spawns off. Should I go find her thing? Yeah, you want to figure out how to get the queen slime and the empress? I know the empress is like kill a butterfly or something. Yeah, queen slime, uh, I, it's just a thing I found in the underground previously. Ah, 